featuring the biggest names and the best stories in sports. The following is a presentation of E60. Sports Matter. I won. Yep. If there is anything as pure as joy, it's a child's imagination. Bam. Right here. I'm open. Pass to McQuaid. Right there. Left circle up to Lucic. Good drive and he scores. Milan Lucic and a two-nothing Bruins lead to the net. Shot scores. Time winner, yeah, baby. Can our imagination somehow, some way, become real? That's a joy, perhaps, only a child can create. How do you think you look? You think you look like a hockey player? Yeah. Liam Fitzgerald was born February 16, 2006. It was evident there was something wrong because the room floods with people. Honestly, it was the most frightening child I'd ever seen. He looked like he'd been in a street fight. Liam was diagnosed with Down syndrome, a genetic disorder marked by physical and developmental delays. I looked up at Bill and I said, I'm sorry. And he looked at me and he said, what are you sorry for? You gave me a beautiful son. And that just made everything okay. What, what kind of red? What kind of color is that? Is he red? <laughs> From the day he was born, he had a specialness to him and I don't know if it was the Down syndrome or if it just was who he is, his personality, his, his smile. Once he started smiling, forget it. By the time Liam was three, he would face a new challenge, leukemia. In the winter of 2009, he began a four-year treatment plan that included aggressive chemotherapy. I feared most that he was hurting and we couldn't do anything about that. I didn't want Liam to know what was really happening yet because he was so young. He had an external Broviac line which comes out of the chest as he was so small and he got a couple of infections in that. Where was your port? In this part of your chest. How did it feel? Seeing him being poked, prodded, multiple sticks, same arm, and to see him take deep breaths and focus, to me, was the definition of toughness. In May 2013, seven-year-old Liam took his final dose of chemo, and Dad took a picture. What does this say? I bear damn the butt. What is it? It's As Liam's baseball. strength returned, so did something else. And show Nikki there's a football too. I think that most of his sports passion probably came from me. The losing. Game over. And then the game would be over. <gasps> uh. I didn't like that. Yeah. All of a sudden, everything was hockey, and the Bruins became part of that. My butt way hot me now. I think that there was something about the action. Action all the time with hockey. And it's amazing to me that for a child that, in, in, in a syndrome, that can sometimes be marked by slowness or a delay in some areas, 
He just stays with it no matter what. I'm watching you. You gonna get air? Yes. Okay, get some air on that. Yeah. Nice shot. Sometimes I don't even get a hole. I always just do you want to play hockey. I find myself in the knee hockey net on, on most occasions. Me one. Me one. No Not just cheering and playing, but also imagining, as Liam did for Halloween in 2013. He said, I want to be a hockey player. I said, who do you want to be? That made me an hour of my way. That year, the oft-injured defenseman was in his fifth season in Boston. Not exactly a star, McQuaid was averaging just under two goals a season for the Bruins. Made it, dressed him like that, took him to a couple parties, took some pictures, posted her on social media, like everyone does. My sister had seen a picture of that uh, of him dressed up uh, for his Halloween costume, and I was kind of taken back that, you know, he would want to dress up as, as me and try to reach out and, and thought it would be uh, pretty neat to meet him. The Bruins arranged for Liam to attend a game later that season. There, he received fan of the game honors. And afterward, he headed down to meet McQuaid. You know, I, I was actually surprised with how comfortable he was with me for you know, meeting someone for the first time. He just has this instantaneous thing that kind of, you know, he makes you happy. How do you feel about Adam McQuaid? Happy? When you see him, what do you tell him? I love him. But it was this season when the bond became public. On November 4th, 2014, when an arena camera spotted Liam at the garden. And he sees himself on the Jumbotron, and he starts blowing kisses and waving to everybody. And this is before the game begins. And he knows, because his brother Nick taught him, go down by the bench early, get in the, by that tunnel, and you're going to get fist bumps from the players, or sometimes just high fives because he can't reach over the edge. The director of public relations looks at me, and she recognized him because we've been to several games, and she said, can he sit on the bench? Team officials moved Liam onto the bench for a better view. And that's when it happened. Bit bump. The fist bump. I'm watching him. Bill's watching him. I'm like, look at this. He's getting all the players. And I mean, every player as they come off, he's got his fist out and he's getting them as they come off. And then the next day, Christine found again online, someone saying and reaching out saying, isn't this Liam? Someone took the video of the fist bumps and posted it on YouTube. By the next day, the fist bump kid was born. Within a day, a million views. By the time it was all said and done, the last count I saw was 5.5 million views on that, that original YouTube video. I think initially it was really just the cuteness factor. Especially the beginning, he's shaking his hand, gets hit from Campbell. I got some grief. I just kind of stuck my hand out there. I didn't really realize it was, uh, it was hard, but his reaction was just, uh, it was amazing. I always told myself like, oh, I'm the Bruins number one fan. And now my brother actually is like the Bruins number one fan. Here you go, get dressed. Hmm? Too long. Too long? Yeah. Yeah. Got your hat? No, wait, wait, what? Glasses first. I'm ready. Hit me. Let's go. I'm happy. You're happy. That's good. Three weeks after the viral video, Liam headed back to the garden for the first time. Yeah, I know. I'm okay. waiting. You're ready. For the game, we got to go on the bench. Say hi. You sat next to you last time. All the players coming in. We're really excited to see him again. There's Marshy. Yeah, <laughs> he never fist bumps Campbell. He always thinks he's going to hit him too hard. No! Last time I heard you, remember? <laughs> the game went into overtime. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. And what happened? 
Here's the pass to Hamilton. He closes. He scores! Dougie Hamilton! And the Bruins come from behind to win! Who did you see after the game? All at land. Good to see you, buddy. Hey. Hey. What's going on? I saw you on the bench today. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. You're a good luck charm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, some knuckles? Thank you. Do you remember him? Hey. I hurt your hand, remember? Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Ah. <laughs> you got me back. Dear Adam, thinking of you and hoping you feel better soon. From Liam. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> get a hug? Oh, there you go. Appreciate that. It's amazing how something can take off like that. Well, I saw you on TV a lot. You're pretty famous, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, just to get a little bit of recognition, and I know that when he comes to games, everyone knows who he is. Oh, like yeah, there he is. <laughs> If there's anything as pure as imagination, it's joy. I'm Derek Jeter. Huh? You're Derek Jeter? But when that joy becomes real... Please join us in congratulating Liam, who now has his very own Upper Deck Hockey Card. That's something only a child can create. He'd come so far. He'd battled so much. He hadn't lost his joy. He hadn't lost his appreciation. He was given to us to raise, but he was given to the world to love. And I see that come out, and I see the Bruins love him. I mean, he brings out the best in everyone. <laughs>